Uh, welcome to NG Fishing. So, as requested, uh, this is going to be a part two of the NGT uh, Dynamic Tackle Box. I've used it a few times. Obviously, I've been out fishing for quite a while now with lockdown, um, but hoping to get out um, this week. Um, so yeah. So you've all seen, you've all seen it. You've all heard my views on it. I'm just basically going to go through it again, really. But this time it's full. So I'll flip the camera around, I'll open the box up, flip the camera around, talk you through it and show you what I've got in there, just so you can see actually how much stuff you can fit in here. Okay, so that's the tackle box. That's a lot of stuff. So if we start up here in the top corner, this is where I've got sort of my artificials. So I've got my maggot, my fake corns. These are like some fake pellets and some cork. I like to drill baits out. Um, in this compartment here, I've got some stuff on there. In this compartment here, I basically split my hooks into two types. So I've got all my standard hooks in here, and I've got my hook beads and any choddies, choddy hooks in there. This section here, I've got these are cool little stops by um, Avid. Like a little, it's like using a fake sweet corn. Um, they're quite cool. Um, some chob beads. And the next one, I've got just some standard beads and some crimps. And obviously a few um, bait stops. I don't tend to use many bait stops, so I don't take that many. Now, the main compartment here, as you can see, I can fit a quarter chod um, crimping tool. I've got my vise and my sharpener for sharpening my hooks. I've got a pack of hooks, got some braid, spare batteries, PVA, things like that. I can even fit the boom material all in, all in that one space, which is, you know, quite a bit of stuff. Um, over here, again, I've split this side into sections. So the top section up here is all like terminal tackle. Like the, I split it between like hook, hook, hook based stuff um, and sort of trace or leader stuff so in here i've got my heli sleeves uh, tail rubbers chod swivels quick change swivels uh, spinner rigs swivels um, lead clips whatnot in there i've got loads of stuff so stripper tool loads of baiting needles puller tool now this this puller tool here really really cheap this is an ngt uh, puller tool really really good value for money um, literally like two quid or something I'm going to pay for that, with that. Um, hooks again chod link you can see you've got loads of stuff in there um, then down to the bottom box I've got my kickers so uh, kickers or liners uh, d-rig kickers in there again this is all hooky riggy stuff micro swivels bait, uh, bait screws more um, Flexi ring screws, and then in there I've got some fake pellet, and I've got my small anti-tangle tube. So as you can see in that section, that is a lot of stuff. That is a lot of tackle. And then if we unclip the top section, so at the moment I've got some rigs tied up. But what I've done is I bought some more pins. So these are just map pins. Bought them on eBay, I think it was about like £1.50 or something for a box of 50. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple of rigs on there. And then again with these, I've split these up as well. So I've got th these two here. These are all lead core leaders that I make myself um, with lead clips. So I've got three of those tied up at the moment, so I'm short on one of those. And then this side, I've got same again, but these are my... Helicopter rigs, helicopter lead cores. Okay, and I've got two on each winder. Zigs in the middle. Don't tend to fish zigs that much, but I have got a separate box for zigs. Um, but I don't tend to fish them very much. Then I've got my choddies. I like to fish a choddy. So there, I've got two on each one. So I've got two lots of choddies there. And then on this end, I've got, you can see I've got three on that winder. So you could probably get, I probably could get three more on there. So they are Ronnie Rig hook ends ready to go. 
still got half the way. But as you can see, I've got Briggs tied up, so I've got some Ronnie's tied up. I've worked on a kind of as a combi rig with the boom material and a combination of braid. And then obviously here I've got slip D's. So plenty of plenty of tackle in there. Um, I hope that helps you guys who are kind of thinking, do I need it? Can I fit enough stuff in it? You can see by that you can fit an awful amount of stuff in it. So there you go, guys. If you've got any questions about it, please put it in the comment and I'll uh, try and answer them as quick as possible. Until then, guys, hopefully you, you can get out and enjoy your fishing.